Hey, Shalom. This is your brother, Yuanathan. All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right. May the blessing of election be upon your house. Today, I want to dive into the fact that unbelief is not a shield from the things to come. Unbelief is not a shield or protection from the things that are getting ready to play out in the earth. Now, when people hear the men of the Lord go into the horrific things that are about to take place, World War III, um, famine, great death, wars, okay, between nations, okay, people, family members, at every level of society, there is about to be conflict that plays out at every level. Now, in Israel, there's always been a saying, uh, you know, a proverb, so to speak, or a mindset that, oh, you guys have been saying that forever. Ah, you know, life is going to always just continue on as it, as it is. Da, 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 da. That's been a mindset. And it's written about even in the scriptures. I want to go to Ezekiel 12 really quick and we'll read about that mindset and how the Lord is going to cause it to cease. So this is Ezekiel 12, and I'm going to start at 22, but I want to read it in the NLT. All right. It says, son of man, you've heard that proverb they quote in Israel. Time passes and prophecies come to nothing. Life is going to continue as it always has. That's the mentality amongst our people, especially here in America, because many things have been coming to pass over the course of the recent years. But being in America or a first world country, you know, when, when economic crisis hits, when actual crises, you know, crisis <laughs> hit, it doesn't necessarily affect the, the, the power, the juggernaut nations first. It kind of trickles up from the bottom up. So especially here in, in America, because things that are happening in the earth aren't affecting them on a personal level, they look at it as though it's not happening at all. Uh, there was a song, uh, a Drake song a while back, maybe like 10 years ago, called The Motto. And in that song, one of the lyrics was, uh, you only live once. That was the YOLO, right? You only live once. That's the motto, nigga, YOLO. That was the... And that's... That's actually a mindset that's just amongst our people, especially two thirds of our people, right? The Lord is going to cause that to cease. Let's continue reading here. And I'm going to start from 22 again in the NLT, Ezekiel 12 and 22. Son of man, you heard that proverb they quote in Israel. Time passes and prophecies come to nothing. Tell the people, this is what the sovereign Lord says. I will put an end to this proverb and you will soon stop quoting it. Now give them this new proverb to replace the old one the time has come for every prophecy to be fulfilled and last year many of the prophecies began to unfold now we're stepping into a time where jacob's trouble is getting ready to the makings of it is getting ready to unfold and play out which means a lot of these things that are happening in the earth are going to, in fact, start affecting Jake on a personal level. Okay? And it's a shame because even though it's getting ready to affect them on a personal level, the scriptures still say that people are going to be, you know, they're going to think themselves in good case. They're going to still continue on in their folly because the, the whole thing about it is these people, they just want to do their wickedness in peace. So they think their unacknowledgement of the of the men of the Lord and what the Lord has us saying and bringing out is a is a cloak or a shield from the very things that you know are playing out on the earth. They think, oh, it's not going to touch me. Oh, those guys are just crazy. They've been saying it for a long time. I'm just uh, you know, I just got to do. I'm just going to do my own thing. When I'm ready to, to deal with the Lord, I deal with the Lord. You know how Jake is in the world with the church. They say, okay, when I get older, I'll start going back to church. But you know, Jake ain't even doing that no more. They realize the church is complete bullshit. But these prophecies are not. 
All right, so let's get Romans 3 and 3 because Romans 3 and 3 is basically the, the foundation of this whole lesson. That's basically what I'm going into. It's Romans 3 here. Okay, Romans 3 and 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief, their unacknowledgement, make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yet let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So what the Lord has spoken, it's going to come to pass. And even for those who walk in the way, we're all going to be tested. Everybody's going to be put on the edge of what they can bear. And to those who are supposed to be destroyed, who are allotted to destruction, which is two thirds of our people in these other nations, they're going to be pushed past that limit. All right. But the beautiful thing is we've been promised a way to escape. When you go to Zephaniah 2 and 3, it says, seek righteousness, seek meekness so that you may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Upon us seeking that righteousness, we've been told of the full armor that we are to be equipped with to withstand the wiles of the devil. OK, primary thing, of course, being faith. OK, because. The word is preached to us the same way it was preached to many of our people, but it didn't profit them because it wasn't mingled with faith. And to prove that you go to. Uh, where is it? Um, it's, it's, it's in Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Let me get there really quick. Just bear with me. Hebrews four. And uh, the point is. In verse two, but I'll just start from the top, right? It says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us, is the point here, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So we've been given that gift of faith because faith is a gift. And hearing this was profitable to us. But when they hear it, all they hear is the end. All they hear is the end of the gratification of their flesh. When we heard it, we knew we had to put off the gratifications of our flesh. Because we wanted to please the husband. The Lord likens us as a nation unto his woman. We wanted to please the husband. They don't. Okay, so we hear a way to get back in good graces. They hear, you know, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the phase of living their, their best life is coming to an end. Because they, they can't see the beauty in what the Lord has promised us. They can't see the beauty in the order. And the falling of this kingdom. So many new people are coming in and they're believing. Okay. Just be wary of anybody. Because, you know, you come in trying to figure out who to, who, so many groups, who do I actually listen to? Well, the people that are warning you of the destruction of this place and how to evade it. Okay. When, it, especially, you know, uh, anybody that's saying, oh, hey, the market of beasts is singing and stuff like that, that clearly doesn't make sense. The mark of the beast is that RFID chip, which is going to allow you to function within this society with this new monetary system that they're setting up. There is going to be a time of trouble for our entire nation where we're going to have to separate from society. And you got to be prepared in the spirit and that, to be willing to take that trust fall and lean on our big brother, Yahweh Shai, to navigate that time. Okay? You're going to have to actually believe it and step out on what you believe because a great persecution for the believers is not okay so Abarat says our man the lesson was edifying I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rikai Kodash want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and of course the few sisters who are pursuing this truth and sincerity all right may the blessing of election be upon your house Shalom and again, we, today is Tuesday, so we're going out for Tuesday night camp. So 7.15 Texas time, Central time, uh, to about 9, 9.15. So 
tune in, you know, drop some precepts, uh, you know, share it if you can. Okay, shalom.